Hey, good morning. So I am headed out and I am off to a Bible study. And this morning we're going to be studying the book of Ephesians, which I'm really excited to do. And yesterday when I was at mom to mom I met some ladies and their babies and they're just so cute. Um, as I have healed up from the abortion, the forced abortion I had as a kid, um, I'm looking at what's going around in the abortion issue. And last night on live action, I saw on Instagram these women rapping. I think they were strippers. They looked like strippers, rappers, strippers, rapping to abortion, rapping to let's kill your baby. Hey, hey I'm at Planned Parenthood because I've got murder on my mind. And let me get in a B O R T I O N, whatever, how they rap. It's just come to such a, you know, disgusting, disgusting thing. But we now are agreeing and we are on the same page calling it murder. So that is a good thing. So it is murder. There is no question about it. Even the pro choicers are now saying it's murder instead of saying it's not murder and it's just a bunch of cells. So I think Lila Rose has done a great job. We need to move forward. It is all of our responsibility to protect the children and, um, you know, stand up against abortion. So that's what I've got for this morning. I saw that really quick last night. I have seen um, some news that I want to address later. Um, but right now I'm focused on the real dollar bill. And I think anyone who wants to turn their life around, who has come from, um, you know, a background with the projects as I have, um, or, um, you know, just a um, childhood where I had family from the background, but one change can make a difference. Like I remember um, as a young girl coming from one kind of really scummy town, to my father making a decision to move and that was about seven years old so that move made a huge decision we were now in a rural area much nicer place much better schools um just a much better opportunity for us so you know there are decisions you can make in life to better yourself and the house was very crummy but because he had construction skills he was able to fix it up um you can change your life and it's not necessarily um about money it's about your goals it is about moving forward with goals that are important to you in your life you can work really hard um going to church learning from mentors um you know surrounding yourself around with people who will teach you good things so how to have a good marriage, how to, and you can't control that, you know, but you can do your part, um, how to raise your kids, how to have a family. And if you work really hard at this and you lean on others in interdependence, you will change your life. And it's not so much whether the money is going to be there or not. You can live a minimalist life all your life and be happy. You can be poor all your life and still be happy. Um, money didn't used to matter when I was growing up as far as, you know, who you hung around with. It wasn't like, you know, you're poor or you're rich and, you know, we hang around with you because of this. In fact, most people who were richer were looked down upon because they were rich and considered stuck up or snobby or whatever. So, um... There's a lot of rich, generous people, but um, it really doesn't matter the money. What's more important in your life is that you're living a good life. You're living a life that's right. You're living a life uh, that will affect you in eternity. You're living a life where you're walking close to God. You have good health. You take care of yourself. And I think self-care is the number one priority to change your life. I naturally ended up taking very good care of myself. I just happened to just, you know, be invited to church and I went and I had already met a Christian at um, a hairdressing salon I was working at and I thought she was really strange. 
but I met her and God was just working in my life. And then, um, you know, some stuff from my past hit me. I went to church and, um, my point is just, you know, one decision can change your whole life and it really doesn't matter. You know, if God gives you money, great. If he doesn't, then fine. And some people have the gift of voluntary poverty. They are givers. So for me, um, this week, I will be looking at um, interdependence and looking at where I may be too independent, where I do need to lean on others a little more, and where I need to be a little more independent and not lean on people in certain ways. So um, just goals, just meeting your goals, investing in yourself. And like I said, this kind of happened um, on accident to me, um, the self-care. I just went to church. I had a huge family and was kind of pulled every which way a lot in my um, childhood. And, you know, I learned from different people, though. You know, I had a grandmother who was like this, and she was a city one woman. And then I had a grandmother who was a country woman. And I don't regret learning anything from each of them. But yet I lacked a foundation in my life. So as I was bringing my kids to church, um, God just blessed me with children. And the more I had, the more I had to stay home, the more I had to take care of them, the more I had to take care of myself. And so I learned, you know, how to be a mother, how to, you know, I had to take a lot of classes, I had to read. And as I was doing this, just to learn how to how to do, you know, how to survive, and I naturally was investing in myself. And even now, as my kids are grown up, and I, my youngest is 16, it's now time for me to invest in myself further. So I'm with a bunch of women investing in myself even more with others. So, um, you know, I will be getting my Bible down. I will be, you know, broadening myself in the area of friendship with other women. And that's something that doesn't cost anything. So if you are a woman who, you know, has had some stuff in your past that has been um, challenging or you just haven't learned some stuff, you can change. And that's the biggest thing I want to say. It's not about money. It's that you can change your life. Um, just by one decision, one person in your life who has made a difference in your life, who has made your life much better. Um, so that is a challenge that I'm throwing out there for you all. And, you know, the homeschooling for me was not so much about the education of my kids. It was about changing um, my life and instilling values in them that I didn't have you know, wanting to be with my kids. And also just a byproduct is I learned a lot from the gaps in my education. So yeah, um, challenging you, if you've got a life that you're not happy with and you want to change, you can do it. Even if you're from like another country and you don't have a lot of resources, you can make changes in your thinking. You can connect with other people in community and really turn your life around.